Hey guys, guess what's in my Sephora bag? Oh yeah, that big, big VIP sale. Guess what's in my bag? <laughs> hey guys, I'm just, I'm just teasing with you. But anyways, in this video, I am going to share with you a couple of things that if I could only take one, I would take. And this was actually a tag that I saw by Lisa Stevens, and I'll link her channel below. I'm sure other people have done this tags and, and different variations of it as well. Mine is going to be short and sweet, I hope. I know I always say that, it never works out, does it? But anyways, if you could only take one, and, and this is just, in this part, is just going to be makeup. It's not going to be skin care, hair care, nail care, ugh, or anything of that nature. It's just going to be makeup. So if you could only take one, and obviously a primer of sorts would be the first start of that, and if I could only take one out of all the primers that I have tried, it would have to be this one. And this is the silicone primer. Hi. I can never say that word right, but this is the silicone primer by The Ordinary. It's extremely affordable. I've been trying many, many primers over the last few weeks, actually a lot longer than that. This is definitely the one that I am liking the best out of all the ones I've tried. So if I could only take one, this is coming with me. The next thing would be, to me, I don't even know if it would be in this order, but I consider this part of my makeup routine, so I'm going to I'm going to say it. If I could only take one sunblock, it would be this one. I've been using this since early last summer. This is the Australian Gold Botanical Skin Care 50 SPF Mineral Lotion, non-greasy. A little bit drying for my skin, so I usually have to put a dab of my oil in with it or on before, so I really like that. The next thing, if I could only take one, would be my foundation of choice. And this is the foundation that I've repeatedly gone to ever since I discovered it. I grab this foundation before I grab any other foundation. My only drawback to this is that it is basically only a 15 SPF, but this is the anti-aging, yeah, you probably guessed it, the number seven, Lift and Luminate. I love the ingredients. I mean, anti-aging foundation doesn't settle into my fine lines. It actually gives me a nice glow. It, uh, it makes my skin look smooth. It really, really works well on me. The only drawback to this is the 15 SPF, but since I start with the 50, I feel pretty good with this. I love the coverage on this, and I have this in the color wheat. The next thing from my foundation, I use an Avon blush. I don't have it to show you, but I'm not, I'm, I don't even wear a blush every day. So blush is usually not something I often think about. But when I do grab it, I grab my old Avon blush and I really, really like it. I do have to order some more of it. I have it in my pocketbook. I didn't bring it in here. But going to eyes, yeah. I'm gonna have to say it is going to have to be the Essence Lash Princess in purple. The purple one, I don't know, for me, on my eyes, it just works really well. I don't have smudging, I don't have a bunch of flaking, it makes my eyelashes look great, it gives me good volume, it gives me good color. I just really love it and it's a drugstore. So this would be my first choice. It would be above my IT superhero, which everyone knows I love. Secondly, on eyes, I would have to have an eyeliner. I would have to have an eyeliner that I know I could trust that would never let me down. And I've tried many eyeliners, there, and there are many that I like. There are many that I go to. But the one that ultimately, if I'm going into a difficult situation, I'm going to be outside all day, I'm going to be doing something, maybe I'm doing a presentation under bright lights, the one that I go to that I know will not let me down is Urban Decay 24-7. This is the one I have in Waterline right now. I love it. I will do it in my Waterline. I will also use it as my eyeliner above it. These are pricey. These are $20, I think. Not on sale, but this is worth it. 
for me. This is worth it for that self-confidence that I have that I know my eyeliner is not going to go all over my eyes when I put this on. So that's definitely a must for me. And then this is going to surprise you because this was actually sent to me from the Octoly Network and I actually had reviewed it previously. And since I got this, other than using my Viseart Amethyst a couple of times, I've used this every day. I really like this. This is the Afterglow. I am surprised at how much I really like this. I think the colors for me, oops, I don't mean to blind you, but the colors for me, they're, they're not super, super bold. They're really easy for me to blend and I can darken them as I need it. So the colors work perfectly for me. I have an all over shade. I have a darker crease shade. I have a darker edge shade. I have a highlighter in here. This could be the one palette, eye palette, that so far for me that when I take this, I don't need to use anything else. When I use my, um, my Viseart and Amethyst, I usually have to have a neutral color to go all over my lid first. And then I go into that palette. This is like a one and done. I can use every little, and I'm not an eyeshadow expert by any stretch, but I really am enjoying this little palette a lot. Concealer, Bye Bye Redness, it. This is definitely out of all the concealers that I have, not that I have many, but this is definitely the one that I would take. This is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. After I put my foundation on, after I put my number seven on, I take a tiny bit of this and I dab it where my heavy red veins are. I dab it over my veins, I let it set, and then, you know, once it's dried on and all that, and I've done the blush, any kind of, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do a contour, I do my contour. My, con my contour of choice has been something I've had for a long time. This is NYX NYX Wonder Stick. I believe this is the shade Universal. I hope they still make this. It has a highlighter on one end, and it has the contour on the other. I really like a cream contour. So after I've done that, then I would set everything with just a little bit of a Bye Bye Pores setting. I use this, this is a powder, but to me this is a nice little setting powder. I use it very, very lightly. I don't use a lot of it, but if I have to take a powder with me, this is the one I would take. And that brings me, I think, to my lips. That was the hardest thing. I have two favorite lipsticks that I really like. And both of them happen to be Maybelline. So both of them happen to be very reasonable lipsticks. But if I had to choose between the On The Mauve, I think it's number 445, I'm, I'm not sure, I'll have to look it up. And Sugar Honey, 365. I, I really hemmed and hawed, I said, which one would I take? Guess which one I took? I would take, and it was hard. It was really, really hard. I would take the Sugar Honey, Maybelline Sugar Honey 365. I just really like this shade on me. And then I would take my Buxom Gloss White Russian. Now we use my Buxom Gloss White Russian a lot, but I also use Hard Candy Glosses, and I love the Hard Candy Glosses. They're really, really nice. They're very, very close. But if I could only pick one, it would be this one. I really, really like it. And while we're talking about lips, it would be remiss of me not to mention my Avon lip liner. This is a glimmer stick. I think this is a perfect plum. And for some reason, and this is a twist up, this is just lip liner that I like. Yes, it's a dark lip liner. Yes, you're not supposed to wear a dark lip liner, but I do anyways, and I really like it. So that's what I would take if I could only pick one. So what would you bring? So if you had to just pick one in the makeup category, one foundation, one blush, one lipstick, one lip gloss, one lip liner, what would you bring? I'd be curious to hear, let me know. And if you're a content creator, maybe you should consider doing this tag as well. I think it's a lot of fun. So that's the scoop, I'm sorry I bummed you out, but guess what? I'm not buying anything in the Sephora VIP sale. Sorry, I'm on a no buy right now, a no buy. And there was really nothing in the sale that enticed me to really break that. 
and there was nothing in the sale that was a good enough sale price to make me go, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Didn't do it for me. If it did it for you, that's great. I'll look forward to seeing what you bought. But for me, uh-uh, not a thing. So that's it, guys. I'm off and running. Jay and I are going to the store. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.